What's up, bitches? It's a misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers. And I'm back up in this bitch for another rant. Okay, um, Eminem faces backlash for gunshot sound effect at Bonnaroo 2018. Now, um, I'm going to relish in this because, I mean, you already know where I stand when it comes to modern day Eminem. He turned into uh, SJW. He turned into everything that he once hated, right? So he was at the Bonnaroo Festival and uh, he was performing one of his songs, had gunshot sounds in, in it. And everyone got triggered. Everyone's mad at him um, <laughs> for, for playing gunshot sounds. And, uh, you know, this is in light of the whole Las Vegas shit. And um, listen, I'm going to defend Eminem and then I'm going to bury him. Because let me de let me defend him first. I, I believe that he should have the right to play those effects. It's Eminem. You, you know by now... Um, his songs, his past songs, he it, it, a lot of it embodies violence and gunplay and all that shit. So y'all shouldn't be surprised at all. In fact, let me read some of these weak, snowflake ass remarks, okay? Um, honestly, fuck Eminem. Added gunshots to his set. Had to leave. So disgusting and distasteful. Shame on you. <laughs> uh, this was, this is all t uh, Twitter, by the way. Um, I was having a good time at Eminem set. Then he played a realistic gunshot noise. The whole crowd ducked, and I've never felt more traumatized and ready to panic. Completely inappropriate. Here, it, l l listen. It doesn't matter if Eminem had gunshot effects in the past. The crowd was actually scared and shaken up because of how actually realistic it is. <clears throat> uh, here's another one. I'm gonna read all of these. These are so fucking weak and hilarious. Literally just lost all respect for Eminem. You're seriously gonna set off gunshots at a festival? Literally, so many people were scared and left the set immediately. I know you haven't performed in forever, but keep up with current issues, dude. Oh, he has. He has. He's on your side. He's on your side. Um, Less than a year after Vegas and Eminem thinks it's a good idea to blast gunshot sound effects on stage at a music festival. Bad call on this headliner, Bonnaroo. What happened to radiate positivity? Fuck you. Um... B -b 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 Let, this, this is my favorite. Let me skip this one. This is my favorite. Worst decision ever to ask Eminem to play at Bonnaroo. My night was awesome, but now I'm in absolute tears and shaking because I thought the multiple gunshots from his performance across Senaru were real. This is not okay. <laughs> really? Oh my god. I mean, there's some people that, that defended him. Uh, I literally saw Eminem less than a week ago. No one was triggered slash scared of the gunshot noise that hadn't had been performed years. Laughing my ass off. You're begging for attention. Go home. Thank you. The Kill You outro gunshot has been part of the Eminem live show since 2001. Why all of a sudden is Tennessee getting all cut up about it? The millions of people who have seen M do it haven't had a problem. You don't deserve Eminem for fuck's sake. Exactly. It's not Eminem's fault that it's now normalized to be afraid to go to a concert. Guns are allowed in the U.S. and Americans glorify them. Maybe y'all should worry about that instead of a fake gunshot. Eh, this dude's being half and half. You claim to have grown up loving Eminem and his music, girl. And yet you complain about it now after hearing one of his oldest songs that have gunshots effect in it. 
Okay, I guess it was uh, responding to one person. Um, yeah, so let me say this. The, the people who first commented that were so triggered and afraid of a gunshot sound aren't real Eminem fans. But here's where I'm going to bury Eminem. These are the fans you asked for. These, these are who you are defending now. Remember that whole... Uh, if you have conservative beliefs, if you support Trump, yada, 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 I don't want you as a fan anymore. Guess what? These are the people that you represent. Remember, these are the guys that once wanted to hang you. I've already done a video on this, so I'm not going to rehash it, but I'm so glad that this is happening to you. I want to see what he's going to do because it says at the end of this Hip Hop DX article, Eminem hasn't publicly commented on the matter at this time which most likely he probably won't um but i want to see if he's gonna take the gunshots out <laughs> i want to see what he's gonna do because this is fucking brilliant i love the fact that that he's getting this bullshit i love it it makes my day that he became a sjw and now he has to live within that uh, um that world that that these people bitch and whine about every single little thing and um i was gonna make a separate topic on what i'm about to um talk about next but it kind of goes in line with this i saw a few articles about why don't sjw's attack rap and um they kind of did over the years but i kind of you know it they've gone at rap very lightly you know they talk about misogyny and all that shit but they've only gone at Eminem and you know I sat back and I was wondering why the fuck are they only going at Eminem because over the years he was public enemy number one and then it hit me is because he's a straight white male this is what a lot of these uh, SJWs complain about you're straight if you're a straight white male nowadays I mean, if you're a male, period, but a straight white male is who they complain about. Unless you follow the narrative. If you're a pro-feminist, if you're uh, uh, if you bash other straight white males, if you do all that shit, you're cool. And Eminem kind of fit into that with his with his last trash album. But he got to understand now when these people start bitching about shit. They're just going to latch on to you. They smell blood in the water. They're just going to keep attacking you. And that's what I noticed. They don't go after black rappers too much because SJWs and liberals need black people as their pets. This is what I've been talking about, especially as of 2016. The racism is real with them. And the, the minute black people wake up and start realizing this shit, the better off we'll be. But um, speaking of this trash album... Um, I'm, I, I meant to, I, I gotta get rid of this fucking album for my collection because it, it really is an eyesore and <laughs> it's, it's contaminating my collection. So I'm about to show y'all what I'm about to do with this fucking shit because uh, Eminem said that he don't want people with, with certain values as a fan. So I'm about to show you what I'm about to do with this fucking album. Just, just hang on one second. Hang on real tight. Alright, so I'm in my bathroom, dropping a deuce, alright, so see there's a toilet right there, there's a seat up, ran out of some toilet tissue, so what better to use than this trash album to wipe my ass with so it is let's see how glossy shit wow that's a weird oh gotta watch that staple holy shit Oh, that's disgusting. 
Yeah, it is. Now it's going down. Going down the crapper. I'm going to flush that shit. And as for this, this is my trash can here. This is going in here where it belongs. And uh, let me flush this shit. Ah, fuck me. Ah, fuck. Let me see if I could. shit on. Alright, let's see. Let me take this camera off real quick. Let me see if you can see in there. I want you to see this shit. Well, not, not literally, but there it is. Bye bye revival. <laughs> anyway, that that's where that that's where that shit belongs, alright? Everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love. Leave your hate. Most of all subscribe. And that's it. Peace bitches.